in the wake of Louisville's 73 54 victory over Seton Hall in the Big East opener for the Cardinals. We've got some uh, special guests who have joined us to two men who were going head to head to today. Coach Patino you coming out on top but the history between you two guys is pretty special. How was it going against your former assistant. Well you try not to look down the other end but you know he spent nine years with me both with the Celtics as well as Louisville and uh, he had more hair than his dad and me combined and after I mean, nine years he was, was never was ten years. It was ten, ten years, years with you. That's why I had no hair. <laughs> but you know he's obviously he's going to go through some growing pains. We talked long about it. No different than Mick Cronin. No different than Tom Creed of Indiana. This is a long range blueprint. And I say this the ultimate compliment. I never have compared in my life anybody to Billy Donovan because I put him on a pedestal in coaching. And this is the next Billy Donovan. But it's going to take him some time because he doesn't have uh, Joe Kim Noah and some of the other chance to look down before the first time I looked up it was 26 to 2. Uh, but at the end of the game looking down seeing both coach and my father down there. Uh, two people who have been just tremendous in my life. Not only in basketball, I think most importantly, teaching me the, the rights and wrongs. So it was a, it's a good moment to come back. This is a very special place to be. And, uh, you know, obviously we'd like to play a little better, but, you know, I, I, all the years I spent with him, I, you know, when I look down there, it's just an honor to be part of his staff at one point. All right, LaFonso, you got a question for our two coaches? Yeah, no, it's just fun for me to just observe you two together. Coach, you have a terrific reputation by being such a loyal coach and the fact that you reach out to your players. Can you talk a little bit about both how you stay connected with your players and your former coaches? No, you know, it's funny. Every year I have a tradition, starting back with Jeff Van Gundy and Stu Jackson oh, wow. when they worked for me at Providence, that I buy everybody a, a very nice tie that's significant. The significance is the color of this school. I don't know what I buy Jeff and <laughs> Stu anymore, but, but you know, now for the first time, I'm going broke. Because we have so many great guys out there, players. We got guys like Pelfi and Travis sure. and Alan Edwards and Reggie Hanson. And I can tell you, the the, the quality of Ty Lafonso has gone down dramatically <laughs> since he's gotten more and more guys. <laughs> I mean, not it true. used to be Gucci and you know what, Armani. Now it's I think it's, you know, it's, they were at Sears or something. It's unbelievable. I, I bought him a London tie. He doesn't even know what it is. It's even better than Gucci. <laughs> Well, Coach Patino, the last time when Kevin came back, he said you had a nice uh, inscripted Rolex for him, big intro for the crowd. We didn't see any of that tonight. No, now, you know, with the salary he's making, I thought he'd buy me a Rolex, <laughs> but he didn't. But, you know, I, I root for him. We, His dad and I follow every single game, and our hands are sweaty. It, it's tough when you have players and ex-coaches and you watch them because you live and die every possession hoping they'll win. But I'm real proud of Kev. He's going to get it going in a, in a year or two once he gets – a full complement of players in there, but he's got a young man. His 20 points point score, maybe the best play in the Big East, goes out. And then Herb Pope, we we're so thankful that he was brought back to life. God bestowed a second chance to him in, the, in his tough game of life. So we're real happy about that. Just going to take a little time for him. Lafonso was very impressed with Fuquan Edwin. What did you think about the freshman for Kevin's team? I, I think he's going to be terrific. You know, it, it was tough playing against us tonight because we were trying to mix things up. We got off to a great start. And he really impressed me for a freshman. That's something to build on. Yeah, Fuquan brings it every day. You know, he comes from a, uh, he came from a terrific high school in a great AAU program. Uh, brings it. He's going to be a special one of our players because he just plays with great passion, just loves to play the game, and that's something that as we continue to build this, that's something get more Fuquans in our program. All right, Kevin Willard, Rick Pitino, thanks for joining us courtside post game, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you. All right, it was a 73-54 victory for the Louisville Cardinals tonight at home at the KFC Yum Center over the visiting Seton Hall Pirates.